In everyday interactions, persuasion plays a big role. Whether it's convincing someone to go out for dinner or persuading a colleague to support your idea, understanding the psychology of persuasion can be very useful. Persuasion can be defined as the process of changing or reinforcing attitudes, beliefs, or behaviors through communication or other means. It is a key aspect of social influence, which refers to the impact that people have on one another. One of the most famous persuasion techniques is the foot-in-the-door technique. It is based on the idea that people are more likely to comply with a big request if they have already agreed to a smaller request. In 1966, a study by Jonathan Friedman and Scott Fraser had shown that when the researchers asked homeowners to put up a large sign in their front yard for a driver's safety campaign, only 17% agreed. But when they asked the homeowners to put up a small sign first, 76% of them then agreed to put up the large sign. This phenomenon is known as the foot-in-the-door effect, and it has been supported by many other studies. Another technique that can be used in persuasion is using someone's name in the middle of a request, especially if they are not particularly close to you. This is an effective trick because people have a need for recognition and by using their name, it makes them feel acknowledged and valued. A study by researchers at the University of Chicago, published in the Journal of Marketing, found that when the researchers asked people to fill out a survey, the compliance rate was much higher when they used the person's name in the request. In fact, the study found that using a person's name in a request increased the likelihood of compliance by up to 34%. This highlights the power of personalization and persuasion, and how making someone feel acknowledged and recognized can increase the chances of them complying with a request. Another technique that can be effective in persuasion is mirroring the person you are trying to persuade. This means matching their body language, speech, and tone. For example, if they lean in, you lean in. If they speak softly, you speak softly. This creates a sense of rapport and makes the person feel more comfortable and open to your persuasion. This technique is known as the chameleon effect and research has shown that it can lead to increased liking and trust between people. Another technique that can be effective in persuasion is nodding your head when speaking to someone. Research has shown that when a person nods their head, it can increase the likelihood of the other person agreeing with what is being said. For example, a study published in the journal Nonverbal Behavior found that when a person nods their head during a conversation, it leads to more agreement and compliance from the listener. The reason for this is because nodding creates a sense of agreement and approval, making the other person more likely to be in agreement with you. Additionally, using rhetorical questions can also be a persuasive technique, as it makes the person think about what you're saying and engage with your argument. When asked a question, people will naturally look for an answer, and in doing so, they are more likely to accept your point of view. For example, instead of stating you should buy this product because it will save you money in the long run, you could ask wouldn't you like to save money in the long run. While these techniques can be effective, it's important to remember to always use them ethically and with good intentions. Persuasion should not be used to manipulate or deceive others. Additionally, it's important to respect the other person's autonomy and not to use these techniques in a way that infringes on their rights or makes them feel uncomfortable. In summary, understanding the psychology of persuasion can be very useful in everyday interactions. Techniques like using someone's name, mirroring, nodding, and using rhetorical questions can be effective in persuasion, but always use them ethically and with good intentions. Remember that the main goal is to communicate your idea, product, or service and not to manipulate or deceive the other person. Science supports these techniques. Studies had shown that these techniques can lead to increased compliance, trust, and liking.